Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and this is Sonali from It Starts At Home and I hope everybody is doing great and everybody is healthy. If you're looking for fun, engaging and interactive activities to do with your kids in less than 5 minutes with the stuff that's available at home and help them understand and enhance their out of the box thinking, then this is the right place. All you have to do is just press the subscribe button and hit that bell icon. All right, guys, I hope the virtual learning, homeschooling, in-person schooling is all going good for you. Uh, it's going pretty good for us. And um, I am all set to share my calendars, the activities. So I worked really hard for the last two weeks to get everything um, set in routine. And the first thing that I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to be showcasing you today is nine different spelling activities that you can do with your kids after school. And they can all be done... Um, like a one page a day or two pages a day. It could be just like daily spelling activities that can enhance spellings, can work, uh, help them vocabulary, help them building sentences, and definitely work on those um, uh, English skills. And yes, spellings are very, very important. I know kids get stuck, but they're like the one thing that you can do is practice. So I'm gonna share with you these nine amazing activities in my uh, spelling book. So let's get going and let's see what do I have for you today. All right, guys, so this is the spelling book. It says spelling, spell them, read them and write them. So let's get going and let me show it to you how we are gonna be doing it over the week or 10 days. And let me show you all the different activities that I've planned. All right, the first activity is jumble tumble words. I always try and keep the first two activities interesting so that the kids want to do more okay and then you increase the difficulty level for the kids so the first one is jumble words it also tells you the word that starts with the starting letter and then you have to answer it so i have these six words right here starting letter that's glass all right that's file that's book so they have to like figure it out and write the answer here that was activity number one and uh, you can use the words according to your child's age and your child's um, interest or what they're doing in one of the subjects if they have a spelling test or something you can definitely add these words this will not only help them to understand and learn the words but also uh, it acts as a pretty good puzzle to be solved in the brain just with spellings Okay, so this is something that happens with all the kids all the time is like getting a spelling wrong when they have more than two options or someone has written it wrong or once the pronunciation goes wrong for the word. So this is find the correct spelling. That's activity number two. So you have 12 words and all these 12 words I've written in three different formats like A, B, C and then you write the answer here, the right one. So you have stone, above, deal, airport, baker, juice, butter. So they need to find the right one, okay, and they need to write it here. The third one says rainbow writing, that's called word building. So what they have to do is they have the word right here, they have to make three words out of this word okay and they have to write in a uh, rainbow so like they have to use all different color pens so basically we are building words from a word so it, it, it could be scent okay it could be net or it could be abs so as soon as they're writing it they have to use three colors to write it so we are just making it more fun and engaging but at the same time we are trying to um, ask them to take out some words from a word itself so that was my activity number three. Complete the spelling, use colored pen. Okay, so this is half the spelling is already done for them. And the first half they have to do. So by, by just reading it aloud, they will be able to figure it out what's the answer. So if you will see, the spellings are, um, are a little easy somewhere. Then they become difficult somewhere. And now here you have big words, definitely. All right. So let's move to activity number five. So here you have to find sound of er, er, and er. Okay. And this is confusing because if your child has not done this, I would say you can um, do the oo sounds or you can do the ed sounds. But I have done this. So it's hunger, winter, er. Then this is... Uh, I can't figure this one out so far. Oh, this is curl. Yes, that's curl. So you have to fill in the right answer. So um, somewhere it's uh, missing it in the end, in between, but nowhere in the beginning looks like. Yes. So you have these uh, three options and you have to fill it up. And this is a great spelling activity. 
Okay, so that's word list and you have big words here. Okay, so th these are the words that Vivan uh, would love to work on and definitely what I've done, I've written three three lines here. He needs to write them by himself all over again and uh, there are a lot of words and you have big words here. You have assignment, advertisement, you have critique, narrate, commentary, footage, executive, license. So yeah, that's good. Okay, so this is a pretty cool activity. Look at the picture and write three words. So you have to first look at the picture and write the word, which is a sandwich or a sushi, ketchup or a pretzel. And then you have to write two more words that associate sandwich. Okay, so like bread or ketchup or bread or cheese or bread or chicken or bread or vegetable or like tomato. Then you have sushi, which is seaweed and carrots. Okay, or seaweed or shrimp, whatever like that that's something your child has to see so in with one picture you're trying to derive three spellings okay so that's an indirect way of teaching spelling so you have ketchup you have bottle you have red or you have tomatoes pretzel could be f flour and then baked and seasoning so it could be anything they have to just look uh, same thing with these four words as well like four four pictures as well Okay, so I have another uh, activity which is unscramble, but let me show you the activity which is my last activity and this says read the rules and write the word. Okay, so what I've done is I've made a ladder of words here. It starts with rich. A boy's name change one letter. So you have to change one letter and the word is going to come. Now for the second one, change one letter. That's it. That's the only clue and you get you get your word. Now for the third one, it says add one letter, a branch or twig from a tree or bush. So they have to find what it is exactly and then the number of spaces are already given to them. So just like that, they have to go up the ladder. So guys, these were the activities that I was talking about and I think they are, are really engaging and I've given a free space um, here for them to uh, like ride if they want to practice and if they think the space was less here. So definitely I, I have made another uh, copy for a friend's daughter because she wanted to do spellings exactly the same way and uh, I'm super excited to uh, for you guys to try these activities and tell me what you feel about it and yeah thanks for watching guys don't forget to subscribe like and comment to my videos and keep supporting thanks for watching guys see you next time